Imagine this. The air was thick with an eerie silence as Liam wandered along the desolate stretch of highway. His footsteps echoed softly against the pavement, barely audible above the distant hum of passing cars. But Liam seemed deaf to the world around him, lost in a trance-like state, his gaze fixed ahead as if drawn by an unseen force. A car whizzed by, its headlights casting fleeting shadows across Liam's vacant face. He didn't flinch, didn't even acknowledge its presence. Another car approached, its engine growling as it slowed to a halt beside him. An older man emerged, concern etched deeply into his weathered features. Hey, young man, are you okay? The man's voice cut through the silence, but Liam remained motionless, his eyes fixed on some distant point in the horizon. No response. The man tried again, his voice tinged with growing unease. Son, do you need help? Still, no response. Frowning, the man reached for his phone, dialing 911 as he explained the situation to the operator. I'm on Highway 66, just past mile marker 42. There's a young man here, he's... he's not right, and he's covered in blood. As the words left his lips, Liam's trance was shattered. He blinked, slowly becoming aware of the bloodstains on his clothes. Panic took hold as realization set in and he began to scream, his voice raw with terror. No, 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 mama, please! Liam's cries echoed into the night as he turned and fled, his footsteps pounding against the pavement in a frantic rhythm. The older man watched in stunned silence, his heart pounding in his chest. He tried to follow, but Liam was already disappearing into the darkness, his figure swallowed by the shadows of the night. Minutes later, the piercing wail of sirens shattered the silence as police cars descended upon the scene. The older man relayed the events to the officers, his voice trembling as he recounted the chilling encounter. With a grim determination, the officers set off in pursuit, their headlights slicing through the darkness as they chased after the fleeing figure of Liam, haunted by the unanswered questions that lingered in the air like a sinister presence. As the police followed the trail left by Liam, they were led deeper into the darkness of the night. The trees loomed overhead like silent sentinels, casting eerie shadows across the road. Officer Peters gripped the steering wheel tightly, his knuckles turning white with tension. Where could he have gone? muttered Officer Alvarez, peering out into the inky blackness. Suddenly, a piercing scream shattered the silence, echoing through the dense forest. The officers exchanged alarmed glances before slamming on the brakes, their hearts pounding in their chests. They jumped out of the car and raced towards the source of the sound, their flashlights cutting through the dark. Branches snagged at their uniforms as they pushed forward, their breath coming in ragged gasps. And then they saw him. Liam stood at the edge of a steep ravine, his eyes wide with terror. He was bathed in moonlight, his pale face contorted in anguish. His hands were up in a defensive position, the blood on them drying in grotesque patterns across his skin. Please, he whispered, his voice barely audible over the rush of the wind. Help me. Without hesitation, Officer Peters and Officer Alvarez rushed forward, their arms outstretched. But before they could reach him, Liam stumbled backwards as if seeing something the officers could not, his foot slipping on loose gravel. He tumbled over the edge, disappearing into the dark void below. For a moment, there was silence. And then the forest erupted with a symphony of screams, the sound echoing into the night. Officer Peters and Officer Alvarez exchanged a stunned glance before turning and walking back to their car, their minds reeling with the horror of what they had witnessed. How would they explain this? How would anyone believe them? As they drove away, the darkness swallowed them whole, leaving behind only the echoing cries of the lost and the damned. And in that moment, they knew that the nightmares of this job could and would haunt their souls forever. Remember to be vigilant and watch the shadows.